My hair never looked better and it's because of these products. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video, I'm going to talk about hair care products. I gave birth in January 2022, so it's been a year since I've been trying to get back to what my hair used to be. For a whole year, I've tried everything. I know now what works, what doesn't. So here are the products that transformed literally my hair. And when I say transform, like, do you see this shine? This is the shine that I did not used to have for one year, my hair looked so tired and it looked like it had no life. Not to mention that I had no hair right here. Here, I basically had a bald spot. This part, it's still growing, but I mean, come on, there's a lot. What I've also noticed is here, a lot of this was missing. Basically, this whole part of my hair was gone, so now, Everything is regrowing, but this video is not gonna be based on products that help me grow back my hair because I think part of it was the products, but part of it was my body getting back to normal. So it's not about that. Today I'm gonna to talk about how the texture of my hair changed and just how my hair improved overall. Let's get into it. Let's start with shampoo and conditioner because I think that's super important what you use on your hair. And I'm very, very proud to say that I discovered Coco and Eve before it was a thing. I feel like now everyone is using Coco and Eve, but I'm proud that I've started to use this a long time ago. I love everything about Coco and Eve products. I love their shampoo and conditioner and the fig and coconut. Is it fig and coconut? Yes, coconut and fig mask the best really good smells amazing amazing i love these products these are my go-to's so whenever i finish these if the brand does not send me new products i will definitely go buy them it's the one product that i would spend my money on that's how much i love it and you know i have a lot of stock i have a lot of hair products that i could use but i just love 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 these the shampoo is so nice. You need a little bit in order to make that nice, dense foam. I don't know about you, but I like when it makes that foam. I feel like it really helps to, to really clear my hair. I know that's actually not true, but that's how I feel it. And then the conditioner is something that I would use most of the time. And then once a week, I would use the hair mask. If I want more hydration, I would definitely go towards the mask. Like for example, today, today I was using the mask and ooh, just love, love how my hair feels after um, I'm using Coco and Eve products in general. This is new for me. I've only used it twice, but what I really like about hair care in general is that you can immediately know if you like it or if you don't. This is the Mega Moisturizing Shampoo from Drunk Elephant. And the texture of this is very different than anything I've used. So <laughs> when I, I was in the shower and when I put this in my hair, I was like double checking to see if by accident I did not use a conditioner because it feels like conditioner. The shampoo feels like conditioner. That's how hydrating it is. And when you massage it, it doesn't really make that very dense foam. So you really have to work it to, to foam. But I really like because after this, my hair is very nicely hydrated, especially in combination with the mask. This is Mega Moisturizing Masker. Again, only two times I've, I've used these, but enough to tell you that they're really worth it and that I would definitely repurchase these products. Silk amino acids, sunflower fatty acids, pH 4.3. I've no idea what that means. <laughs> but, but listen, I'm here to review the products. What I can tell you is that these are very hydrating. If you have fine hair and if hydrating products weight your hair down and feel kind of weird, 
and you kind of avoid hydrating products for that reason, you're gonna like these a lot. I don't think I've mentioned in this video, but my hair is incredibly fine. So I have a lot of hair, but it's very, very fine. So, you know, when I'm using certain products, especially hair masks, or hair oils, or styling products, it could be a total miss for me. By far the strongest shampoo, if you're looking for like a toning shampoo, is the Olaplex number no. four blonde toning shampoo. This, as soon as I feel that my hair has that brassiness, I will use this and boy, it's amazing. And the reason why I love this so, so much is because I've tried every single purple shampoo out there and they would all dry out my hair. I don't know if this is something that purple shampoos do in general, but this, this is what happened to me. I feel like every single shampoo that has this, this blonde enhancer, they are not good for my hair except for this nourishes my hair, I never feel like it's dry, and it really works for the color. Not to mention that you don't have to apply this for every single shampoo. I would definitely go towards Coco and Eve, and this I would only use like every other week. I, I, I kind of wash it once a week because I just do not have the time. Today is the lucky day. Today is when I wash my hair. So. I'm gonna do all my content today because my hair is nicely, nicely fresh and clean. Another product that I have to mention, although I've mentioned this before, is the Amica Intense Bond Repair Mask. This mask is so good if you have split ends, if your hair is very dry and it tangles a lot. This is amazing. One of the most hydrating hair masks I've ever used. I went through two of these jars. This is my third one. So that, that says a lot. Now let's talk about products that helped the texture of my hair. And I'm gonna start with the Coco and Eve Bond Building Pre-Shampoo Treatment. If you have lightened your hair, if your hair went through a lot of processes like color change, this is gonna be your best friend. It's going to restore your hair, it's going to make it a lot stronger. Honestly, it's my best friend. I use this before I wash my hair, so what I like to do is damp it before I shampoo, right? I apply a good amount of this everywhere from the root to the ends and especially I make sure that at the end I apply a, you know, a good amount and then I leave it for about 10-15 minutes. The best way, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but is to wrap some plastic foil around it, like put your hair up like this and then wrap some plastic foil on top of it because I feel like it seals all the product there. It sticks to your, <laughs> to your hair. I don't know if it makes sense, but I'm telling you, if you do this, it's gonna be even better for your hair. And then I leave it for about 10 minutes. I rinse it and I shampoo and condition like I normally do. This is, I think, it hasn't even been a year since they released this product and I am in love with it. So, so good. Another product that I think is kind of like the star of this video because I cannot recommend this enough. This is the Kerastase Chroma Absolute. Chroma Absolute. Chroma Absolute. 0.7% lactic acid and centella asiatica. What the f*** saying? Resurfacing High Shine Rinse Treatment. Now, this is a new bottle, by the way. I do my hair to the same person ever since I came to Paris. I'm loyal to Lea. She is the one who does my color ever since I came to Paris. From time to time, I would have someone else cutting my hair, but I'll be honest with you, no one cuts and no one does color like Lea. In Paris, in my opinion, she's so good, especially if you have similar color with mine. I saw her applying this in the hair salon. She, she had like a big, you know, salon bottle. And I was like, what is this? Maybe I'm gonna put a video in here with um, 
the way she applies it. And I was asking her, what, what is this? What do you recommend? Because every time I do my hair with you, when you style my hair, it has this intense, crazy shine that I never succeed to achieve at home. And she's like, it's this. And we were, we, me and my assistant, we <laughs> tried to find this. It was nowhere to be found. This, I'm talking about like, I would say about six months. So right, yeah, it was right after we've met. And we were looking for this product, nowhere to be found. Finally found it. I think now this is available in Sephora, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'll put the link uh, with the product in my description box, but boy, this is the life-changing product for your hair if you are looking for that intense shine. And what this does is giving you that silkiness. It's like your hair is coated with something that makes it stronger, makes it look healthier and damage-free. I don't know, it, it's perfection. Nothing is as good as this. And you have, the way you apply it uh, is in the shower. So make sure that you wash your hair first with shampoo and then you have the dosage right here on the side. You will see one dosage fine hair, two dosage uh, thick hair and you're going to apply it and leave it for about 10 minutes. Saturate your hair with it. Make sure that your hair is not too wet. I, I usually towel dry right before I apply this so you know I don't waste the product and leave it for about 10, 10 minutes I would say. God, the shine, this is so good, so, so good. This is a product that I've recently started to use and I like the way the texture of my hair feels from it. It's called Virtue Flourish Density Booster. So the claims of this product is that it's going to help your hair get stronger. So if you have fine hair, it's going to help your hair, once it grows, to be stronger. And I haven't used it long enough to actually say that it has done that. However, I spray my hair once a day with this at the root. So basically I just lift the hair, spray it at the root and then massage it. Lift the, it does not leave my hair greasy or leave any residue, but it gives a little bit of bounce. And I feel like, maybe it's just in my head, but I feel like my hair grows a lot more healthier, a lot thicker than it, what it used to be. I mean, I still have fine hair, but it's not as fine as it used to be. So I think it's thanks to this product because I don't use any anything else that's similar to this. I like Virtue products in general, but this really impressed me. Now we got to the styling products, product, <laughs> because there's one. I use this product since the beginning of time. If it works, why change it? <laughs> It's the Invisible Oil from Bumble and Bumble and it's my heat protection spray. The reason why I keep on buying this, I keep on using this, it does not weight my hair down. Like I said, having fine hair, when you use products that are quite thick, quite rich, when you try to style them, impossible. They will have a mind of their own. Not with this. I feel like I still have this very nice texture in my hair. It does not add any weird feeling to my hair. It protects it. Like I said, if it's working, why change it? I've talked about this product probably for four years now. I still use it. That's the reality of it. These are my two most favorite texturizing hairsprays. This is quite expensive, but is that product that's very strong. I wouldn't use it when my hair is straight. This is my natural hair uh, texture, by the way. I, I know you guys will probably not believe me, but this is my hair. After I wash it, I don't style it. It looks like this, not immediately. So after I wash my hair, and I use a blow dryer, it, it looks like, like a little weird. 
in about one hour after I use my hair oil, so I apply hair oil everywhere. Texturizing hairspray is only for when I do curls, but this, this is my hair after I blow dry it like this. You know, like no attachment, no nothing. So I'm, I'm very lucky to have uh, the hair that I have. I, I, I was blessed, I didn't do anything. All I do is just maintain and help it. But this straightness, which sometimes drives me nuts, is from mother nature, okay? I don't do anything for it. I don't straighten my hair, I don't style my hair. This, this, is, uh, this, this is my hair, okay? Don't, don't wanna lie to you guys. The reason why I am so in love with the dry texture shampoo is because if you have very straight hair like I do, you know how hard it is to keep the curls and also to have volume. I have to admit now my my cut does not help me with volume right here. I hate volume here, but I love a little bit of volume right here. So what this product will do when you have curls, you know what? Let's just apply it now. I'm gonna show you what it does on my straight hair. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit more volume happening and I haven't applied a lot. When you curl your hair and you use this, it gives the most beautiful texture. It's like your curls are natural. That's how I feel from this, not to mention the volume it provides, insane. And the smell, ooh, so, so good. Another one that I love and my husband uses as well is the Moroccan oil dry texture spray. Also very, very good. The smell of this is also super nice. Smells amazing. When I apply this on my hair, people ask me like, what, what is it that I have on my hair? Actually, yeah, every product from Moroccan oil smells very, very nice. Uh, and this one makes no exception. So these are my go-to texturizing hairsprays. I rarely use dry shampoo. When I say rarely, maybe once every three months. So I'm not an expert in dry shampoo because my scalp never gets oily. But I've recently started to go to the gym. I used to work out at home, but I thought it's time for a change. I have a toddler now, so I cannot really work out at home. And I've noticed that sometimes after I work out, my hair looks kind of weird and kind of flat. So now I've introduced this to my hair care routine. This is Kera Stas Fresh Affair Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And this has vitamin E and rice starch. It's really, really nice. And I think that it's not as strong as the other dry shampoos that I've tried. Like I said, I'm not a connoisseur, but I did my research and I've, I used to apply the Baptiste, the one that everyone, at least here in Paris, talks about. And it's a great one, I'm not gonna lie, especially for the price, you could, you could find that in the drugstore. But it's just not my type of product. I feel like it leaves the hair feeling a lot more dirty than what it was before the dry shampoo, if you know what I mean. It doesn't happen with this. With this product, I really feel that my hair gets a refresh. It's like, it looks better and it, it feels better, which is the most important for me. Now let's talk about like the finishing touches. And I cannot not mention this. It's been a long time since I've uh, started to use this hair elixir. And for the same reason, I like to use products that do not make my hair feel, you know, heavy. So a little bit on the lengths. And then what I like to do is just take all of my hair and what's left on my hand. I'll go through the ends. This is how I can say I only cut my hair about twice a year. I honestly don't have to cut my hair. When I cut my hair, usually Leah tells me like, we don't need to cut, we can cut like the tiny little bit. 
when I cut my hair, it's because I'm bored with the way my hair looks and I want something that's shorter or I want longer bangs or something like that. But it's never because my hair is so, so damaged that we need to cut. And I believe it's thanks to all the oils that I use in my hair, all the products. Also, I don't style my hair all the time. I know that when you guys see me on social media, it looks like my hair is styled all the time. But that is because when I actually style my hair, I do all my content. I do all the content so that, you know, I look nice and pretty. But most of the times, my hair is like, like this. <laughs> Which is not style, like I said. This is my natural state. Um, another hair oil that I love is from Augustina Spader. For the same reason. Listen. I tried Augustina Spader hair care and I know that so many people are going to hate me for this, but just it did not work for me. I really wanted to make it work. It just did not work for me. I didn't like their products for hair, uh, meaning the shampoo and the conditioner. And there is someone that I follow on Instagram that I absolutely love. I'm not going to say her name. And she talks about this product, like the Augustina Spader being, oh my God, it's so amazing. And I'm like, not for me. <laughs> Like, I believe her, but definitely not for me. I hated it for me. But the oil is nice. It's super thin. I'm not going to apply more oil on my hair right now. This is like, it feels like water. It's so lightweight. One of the most lightweight hair oils I have ever touched in my entire life. Gisu was one that I used to use a lot, a lot, a lot. But then I realized it was a little bit too heavy for my hair. I love that product. But for that reason, I kind of stopped uh, using it. This is a lot lighter. This is a tiny little bit heavier than Augustina Spader, but I just love the hydration for, uh, from Coco and Eve a lot more. Okay, last two products and I'm done. These are hair perfume. By now we know my love for Byredo. I love so many of their fragrances. My, I'm not gonna get into it. But my assistant is like, I get to the point. <laughs> no, people are going to think I'm awful because you just said that working for me it's very challenging. Okay. I didn't say working for me, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> um, Byredo Parfum pour Cheveux hair fragrance and sun dazed. Of course, this is a daytime fragrance and I love to use this on my hair because I'm telling you, with the amount of times that I flip my hair in a day it just spreads this very very nice scent without being over the top and i do wear fragrance every day however this does not i feel like it does not mix with my everyday fragrance it kind of stays in the hair and if you do movements you know that's when you kind of feel it this smells very clean, like a fresh bouquet of flowers. That's how I would describe this. So that's why I think a lot of you would really, really love this. My second one is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. And this is not something I would apply every day. This is for a special occasion. If you've never used hair fragrance, you should know that it really stays in your hair. It doesn't mix with the rest of your fragrance. So I love to use this at night. I don't use it all the time, but it just adds a little, you know, a little something to your hair. And when you flip it, like, they know, they will know it's you. This completes my products that changed my hair list. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products, if you're obsessed with any of these products, or if you have your own obsessions because I would like to try them. I'm always up to try new products for hair. So let me know your favorites. 
As usual, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat and make sure you are watching my shorts in here as I try to post every day a video. Did you notice this? Did you notice that I'm, I'm, I'm active on shorts? Thank you so much for watching. All products mentioned in the description box. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.